Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude here with another Jurassic World toy review. Today we'll be taking a look at the new Jurassic World Matchbox 5 set. And um, the name of this set by Mattel is Total Tracker Team. And this includes a in-gen vehicle with a cage on the back. Um, from what I remember, this is from the Lost World. And it says in-gen on the side of the vehicle. As well as the... Um, Oh, what is that one called? That, the larger vehicle that blasted the gyrosphere out in the larger playsets. This is basically a smaller version of that. Um, a Jurassic Park Jeep covered in mud. Um, the dinosaur carrier truck. And um, the submarine from the Mosasaur scene. So this is a pretty cool playset. Um, it includes vehicles that um, kids could definitely reenact a lot of scenes with. You've got two dinosaur catching vehicles, um, an original Jeep, and then um, something that you can really transition from the new movies or the old movies. And this is also a great set for doing photography as well. And I love the variety of vehicles it includes. On the back, you can see it has little renders of these vehicles and each one separately, JurassicWorld.com, some other large bits of information. And the box is um, the new 2020 style. You've got the fence in the background, the plants, and kind of a more red color. I also picked up this um, Mercedes from the older lineup at a used toy store, and it's pretty cute. So we'll be also taking a look at that as well. So let's dig into this box. I've recently started getting into collecting the Matchbox vehicles. Um, they started to grow on me more and more. Same with the mini packs. But I'm not sure how to open this box. I've never bought something like this before. I'm just going to go from the bottom. It seems like the easiest way to go. And just pull the tray out. Discard the packaging. Wow, that is so cute. It almost looks like a chibi car. Very tall. And you can see it's got a cage in the back. You could possibly put, like... Oh, and the cage comes off. Look at that. Wow. That's a cool play feature. You can have the vehicle without the cage, and then you can put the cage on. And the cage is kind of rubbery, it's kind of like plasticky, so that's a cool feature. Let's take a look. The back is hollow on this one. Um, the windows are not see-through. It's got a cool grate. There's some nice paint jobs on these vehicles. The colors really stick out. You kind of get a, a team-like vibe from it. Uh, same with the windows on this vehicle. And I believe this might also come off. Yes. So if you want to put a dinosaur in the back, you can remove this and have the dinosaur standing there. I actually have some on hand, so let me just try that out. It, it sort of fits if you squish the legs in. There you go. You can put a little dinosaur in the back of the vehicle. So that's cool that these vehicles come with removable parts. It really adds to the playability. Let's take a look at the Jeep. A standard Jurassic Park Jeep. In one of my other videos on the channel, I review these guys in more detail. So you guys can go check that out if you want. And the mud splatters are very nice on this. They give a really detailed touch to the vehicle's um, realisticness. I love the tires as well. The tire in the back isn't painted. It's all one color like the silvery kind of plasticky back end of it. And I love the attention to detail on the front of the hood. Or not the hood, the, um, the windshield. Now let's take a look at this. I've never personally owned one of these. Um, it comes with rubbery arms. So these are movable. They're not posable, but you can move them around for sure. The inside comes with a little bit of detail. You can see the little chairs in there. has a, um, a metal pillar holding it up. Um, it's got little turbines on the back or um, things to propel it. <laughs> to um, push it through the water. It comes with little lights up top and down below. These ones are painted. And then it comes with the little um, floaty thingies on the sides as well. So this is a nice little, um, kind of based off the toy, the larger one, in scale with the figures back there. And it's got some better details than that toy actually has, a little bit more movie accurate, which is nice. So yeah, this is a cute little team. Um, really great for reenacting scenarios where you're going to the island to collect dinosaurs and save them. Now let's take a look at the Mercedes. This one was featured in Jurassic World. Um, let's open it up. 
think it's the one Claire... No, Claire doesn't drive this one. Where was this one seen? Somewhere in the movie. It definitely gives off that Jurassic World vibe. Not Fallen Kingdom, but like Jurassic World because most of the vehicles had this like gray and blue paint job scheme and it really screams that as it's also got a very square look to it. The windows are a nice color. They're large so you can see in, see all the seats. It's got a Jurassic World logo, which actually has um, the T-Rex on it. They put all that little detail on there. And it says, what's that little? For official use only. So they've got little numbers as well, kind of like the Jeeps have on the back ends. Um, so that's neat. So you can see the Jeep. There's a number right there. And I believe all the vehicles come with numbers. We've got 21 and a little pterosaur decal as well. I've got five. Actually, does this come off? I had a feeling like it did. Hmm. Okay. And I'm not sure this one has a number because it's more of the Lost World vehicle. Okay. So that concludes my um, little review. These are a great little box set. Definitely worth picking up. It comes with some really amazing vehicles. Um, for play, display, and photography as well. And I definitely will be picking up more of the vehicles when I see them, as they're really characteristic, and I love the looks of them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye